All right. Another day on the clay. Ooh, a rhyme. I went online and I did a search on Pinterest for dresses blowing in the wind. Now, I knew I wouldn't get a pioneer dress, but I would get something that would have volume to it. And it would possibly look like the dress that I'm working on. And I found one with a where the wind picks up the excess fabric and actually makes it kind of a wing on both sides. And that's what I'm going to try to do is emulate that. So let's get back to work on this clay and I'll see you in just this one second. hard for you to see but I'm cutting this uh, clay in the form that I want coming off her hips and continuing down below I like this uh, knife this uh, sil uh, Teflon coated kitchen knife clay doesn't stick to it as much as a uh, regular knife blade This will all work out. It can take a lot of clay though. This bottom part. I need to fill in her leg a little bit. All right, I've added about another two inches of clay, although it wasn't all clay. I used my filler, which I show how to do in my a couple of my instructional videos. And right now I'm just trying to outline the bottom of the dress better. And I'm going to cut that into the uh, clay. Okay, be right back. Okay, I'm just rounding out some of these areas and uh, trying to make it look like fabric. Now I'm running out of clay. This took a lot more clay than I wanted to use, but I've got to soften up some new clay, and that's going to have to be the last thing I do today. Right now, I'm just going to do as much as I can with the clay I got. It makes sense to have the dress 
billow out like a sail because the wind would come up underneath the uh, dress and cause it to uh, fill out. Okay, I ran some clay through my pasta machine, and I run it through three times, each time a little thinner, until I've got it to the thinnest point it can go. And this is what I'm going to make my frills at the bottom of her dress with. What I'm doing now is setting the uh, boundary for the uh, frill at the bottom of the dress. I got to keep it the same all the way around. Now I put a slight texture on the one surface that's going to be aimed out towards the viewer so that I've got a nice texture uh, on this uh, frill. And it's just a matter of Filling it. <laughs> when the clay gets this thin, it, it's hard to work with. Now, before I can do the front one, I've got to uh, do the shoes. Now, I'm just going to fill in just a little bit on the upper edge here where the dress meets the, uh, the frill. Now the uh, tool that I use to put this texture in the frill, I have to use to put the texture in the dress. I can't have two different, different textures. And so this is the uh, texture I'm going to be using on the entire dress. One more little section uh, of frill and then I'm gonna have to call it quits tonight because I gotta soften up some clay for tomorrow because I have plum run out okay let's see all right I know this doesn't seem like a lot, but it took forever to do, but it's uh, working. I'm happy with that. All right. Good night, everybody. See you next time. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.